Today I'm going to be doing some mechanical work on the camper. I'm going to replace the starter because it doesn't start great in the cold and then once it warms up it doesn't start at all because I think the starter gets something called heat soak which is where it gets so hot that it doesn't work. So we're going to replace the starter and I'm going to heat wrap the new starter so that hopefully won't happen. And then I'm going to do an oil change and the fluid change, just some maintenance stuff. So first let's get this tarp off. i got to shovel off the snow on the roof. Well this is unfortunately going to take quite a while. There's about a foot and a half of snow up here and a lot of it's pretty heavy stuff. I'm already out of breath and I'm only doing that much. There we go, cleared the top off. I may have to move this dump truck back here. So I wanna be able to pull it out this way, so. I guess I'm going to be moving this dump truck. Okay, let's see if it uh, does anything here. Now we got both of them hooked up to the truck, which is a strain on this one's alternator, but we'll see if it works. Give this guy another go. Wasn't happy about it. It's a cranky diesel. And now I'm going to attempt to start this guy, which has also been sitting for a couple of months. Not too bad for a couple of months of sitting, I guess. This video is becoming more of a vlog and less of a repair video, but uh, now I'm gonna use the tractor to clear this area here so I can back this out without getting stuck.
I really got the damn thing out of there. Let's head to the warehouse. We are back at the warehouse. Let's get this guy in here. Well, here I am. I'm underneath the camper down here. Sorry for the bad view. First of all, take a look at the underside. It's actually fairly clean. Because these guys didn't really drive it in the winter. Uh, here's the starter. Looking old and crusty. So I'm going to be pulling this one out and putting the new one in. So here's the new starter and here's the heat wrap I'm going to put around it. Alright, I'm going to try to show you this. I'm kind of cramped under here, but... Basically, this is the starter. Stick your socket on these bolts. And loosen them up. There's... Oops, I'm going the wrong way. Hang on a second. This way. So there's one, and the other bolt's right here. It's just between the... Starters between the transmission and the engine, pretty much. Damn, I can't get the thing on. Okay, there we go. And twist this off. Woo! Alright, I'll get back to you. Also, there's a wiring harness back here that you gotta take off. Okay, so the starter's out of its little spot up there. Um, I just have it resting on my toolbox so that I, now I can get the wiring harness off from the back there. Well, it only took uh, one Charlie horse in my neck, but I got the old starter out. That's that one over there. There's a new one that's going in. <clears throat> okay, I've got the uh, heat wrap, heat shield installed. Cut it so that I can still get to the solenoid. Let's put it in. I got the new starter in. It's all tucked in there, complete with the heat shield and everything. Let's test it out, see if it works, and hopefully this one won't suffer from uh, the heat soak issue. Because this design that um, is what caused this is look how close the exhaust is to the starter so then it gets really hot and burns it up. Anyway, I'll clear out all my stuff and we'll test it out. with that. I think that's going to do it for today in the warehouse. I forgot to bring an oil filter wrench so I can't actually change the oil filter and then let's get this thing back home. So the camper was doing a little bit of dieseling and backfiring when I turned it off. I'm going to try solving that by first just putting in a bit of 93 octane fuel and we'll see if that fixes it. If not then we'll have to adjust the timing or whatever. Give you guys a look at the driving. Let's hope it starts back up. With the old starter, it wouldn't now. With the new one, hopefully it does. They make you turn right there, and I need to go left, so I gotta cut through all these little areas to get to where I wanna go.
Okay, we got the camper back home. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Sorry it turned into more of a vlog and less of a repairing video, but every now and then I guess I do some vlog kind of stuff. All I really did in this video was change the starter, but still a fun day. Uh, so thank you for watching. Make sure you follow my Instagram account. Let's get it to a thousand followers by the end of the, or let's say by the next two months, because I don't want to be too ambitious. Okay, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.